In this video, I'll show you how you can divide a game into rounds and the different options for that. So to start with, I'll show you what the default is. So without rounds. And for this first time, I'm going to go through the game setup. But after that, I'm going to do some video editing to skip past the part where I'm, you know, doing this and then adding two hot seat players. So John and Jane. So this bit I'm going to skip past when I'm showing some of the other options for rounds. Um, so here in game setup, um, the default is that we don't divide the game into rounds. So here are the op other options we have. But for this first time, I'm going to hit start game and show what it's like when we don't do that. I'm going to turn the sound off. And without rounds, each player is just going to take turns in turn order until the game ends. And that's about it. You can start admin time and you can reorder the play turn order and so on. But it's just one person taking a turn after the other until the end of the game. And here we are back to the game creation page. And now I'll show you the first of the other three options we have for dividing a game into rounds. So the top one is when everyone has passed. So if I start the game now, we can see that John can start the game. And then on, every, on a player's turn, they have a choice of either ending their turn or passing. So if you end the turn, nothing special happens as normal. Coming back up to John, he ends his turn. Jane wants to pass the round. So Jane hits pass. And so now she is taken out of the turn order until the end of this round. You see, she was skipped there. Now if I pass, now it's just John left. He can take as many turns as he wants until he passes. And when he passes, we automatically go into admin time. So now we are in between round one and round two. So if you look up at John, he now has the option of starting round two. So whoever is the first play in, in play order can start the next round. So if I reorder the play order now, so that Jane is first, now it's Jane who can start round two. And then it goes on like that. And that's about it for this game mode. You keep going until everyone has passed. And then you go into admin time. So that's it for when you have a game that allows players to pass. So when everyone has passed, that's the end of the round. So let's have a look at one of the other options. Okay, and now so we're back to the game creation page. And let's have a look at the second option that we have for having a game that has rounds. And that is the last player may end the round. So in this game mode, whoever is the last player in turn order during a turn can end the round. So I can start the game here and end the turn. Jane ends her turn. And then John, being the last in play order, has the option of either ending the turn or ending the round. So if we, he just ends the turn. Now John decides that it's the end of the round. Hit end round. And now we're back to admin time in between round one and round two. And the first player in turn order can start the next round. And like before, if we reorder the players at this point, then whoever is the first play in turn order can start the round. Once the round is started, it's that player's turn and they can end the turn. Second player can end the turn and the last player can again end the turn or end the whole round. And that's it for this game mode. So let's have a look at the third and final option that we have. And once again, we're back to the game creation page. We say that we want to divide the game into rounds and we choose the last option. And now, and this is after that we want a round to end after a set number of turns. And we get to say how many turns there is in, in a given round. So if all the rounds have the same number of turns, then you just put in that number here. For example, right now there's one turn per round, but say that we might have three turns per round. But if you have a different number of turns for different uh, round numbers, say that maybe the first and second round have two turns per round, 
or maybe we, let's say that the first round has one term, the second round has two terms, and then the third round has three terms. That makes it simple to remember what, what they are. Then we can do, uh, then we can put in the numbers as a comma separated list of numbers. So one comma, two comma, three. If there are more than three rounds in the game, the last number is going to indicate how many turns there is for all subsequent rounds. So say that we had a fourth round in the game, then that round would have three turns because the last number was the number three. So let's check this out in practice. All we have to remember is one, two, three. So I hit start game. So we start the game. This is round one. And we said that round one had one turn. So we hit end turn, end turn. And then now it doesn't say end turn on my play tile. It says end round because when I end my turn, I also will end the round. As always, whenever a round ends, we're going to admin time. We can reorder the players here if we like. And the first player in turn order starts the next round, round two. And we said that round two had two turns. So we hit end turn, end turn. Now it says end turn. We're still in round two. And now it says end round. We go into admin time and the first player can start the next round, which is round three. So now I'm going to go through this pretty quickly here. Yes, hitting end turn. If you look at on the turn in up here, it says turn three and then in parentheses six. That means that this is the third turn in this round and it's the sixth turn in the entire game. So that's what the parenthesis is. So I hit end turn and turn. And now it says end round because we said that round three should have three turns. And we can start a fourth round. Even though we only put in three numbers, we can start a fourth round. And that round will have three turns because three was the last number we put in when we said one comma two comma three. So now it's end turn and turn and turn. One turn per player. Second turn per player. Third turn. And now it says end round because we're gonna, when I finish my third turn for round four, that ends the round. And that's it for this game mode. Um, there may be more game modes in the future, in which case I will update this video. But for now, those are the different ways that you can uh, divide a game into rounds and what the configuration is for of that. I know that was a, a long video, but I wanted to go through it in detail because, um, yeah, I want to be clear. All right. Thank you so much for your attention.